Here's part two on how to store your battery operated stuff. Okay, I'm gonna get in depth with the harder ones after. Because you will need something to pry some of the batteries out. Okay? Um, I've done some AAA, I've done some AA, I've done, yeah, mainly AAA and AA. This is gonna be a harder one because it's kind of like the phonetics dog I, I showed you, but it's like uh, um, Tau 2003 Dancing Hamster uh, Mechanism. Um, so this, I guess that ribbon is there to hold open the batteries. I can just I can lightly remove these batteries. You remove the two and then the way bottom one here should just pop out when you bang it. Yep. Then, you just put it back in. Uh, that is the first done in this video. I'm going to do the easy ones first because it's a few. I have three easy ones in this video. And then we're going to go, uh, before we do the harder ones, we're gonna and we're gonna tell about corrosion. We're gonna talk in depth about corrosion. Um, normally. So this thing has batteries on two feet. Okay. But some of these Jemmy items, older, were four AA if they had it on the feet. Sometimes baby toys are that way too. I've seen them, um, like my son's, my my son, my my nephew's um, hippo toy, the one that sings the alphabet that my son has, and moves. That had batteries on his feet, but it wasn't the regular three double A's like you see here. It was actually four double A's. That also had corrosion on it, got me thinking. One of these days I'll do a video on how to store your batteries correctly. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna do this Big Mouth Billy Bass. Sometimes when you go to thrift stores you see these cheap, but this was like 40 bucks. When my mom and I were good together, she bought it for me. Now this is the only thing I have that takes C batteries. I purposely put dead batteries in for a video, but check to see if new batteries would work when I put them in my son's swing. Batteries from my son's swing. Just to use it up a little bit so I, it's like my son's swing won't corrode as well. Yeah, because you can find corrosion normally when you go to like thrift stores, right? And you, you don't look. You don't bring a screwdriver with you. You come home with a toy where metal contacts, uh, which look like this. These aren't corroded, but I'm just I'm just showing you what the springs look like. They look like this. And my son's bouncer was that way too. So it got me thinking sometimes when you go to Savers and then my, my son's leapfrog baby Tad was that way too. So I was thinking... So, because sometimes you'll you'll find things that are corroded. Um, so sometimes when you go to Savers or Goodwill or Salvation Army, you'll find things that are corroded, dead, not dead, or working could be still corroded. A battery doesn't have to be dead to be corroded. It could be working, maybe a little low, but it's still corroded because it's not the power that's eating it out. It's the acid, the compounds, and the insides of the battery, basically. Or if you want to get 
like sillier the guts of the battery okay so it's not what you think oh you don't want to get some of it on your some people say oh you don't want to get it in your fit hands and stuff look me i don't mind touching it with my hands man like it's not deadly if you get it in your mouth maybe if you get it in your eyes the most it'll do is hurt um, but I don't recommend getting the wet acid on your hands because that's not dried up yet. That's not, that might melt you. All right. These battery operated toys. Now I'm going to go with the harder ones. Let me get something to pry. And uh, after, uh, we'll talk about more corrosion and then we'll end the video. This is gonna be difficult because I'm taking the batteries out. It's a Valentine's Day item. I have a few Valentine's Day items, a few Christmas ones, and I've used this, this the, just this little thing here to pry it. It's nothing new. I've used it to undo baby stuff too, so lightly. Normally, sometimes I get these shitty, most of the time, I get these shitty, um, dollar store batteries you see here and these are more likely to corrode than your average duracell rayovac sometimes your ever at ease you'll see this too where the batteries just explode um back in the day when i was young they had like sunbeam batteries back in the day when i was just a little devil they had the sunbeams now they have at the dollar tree they have the e-circuits Um, batteries can corrode in many different ways. They have temperature. Batteries can corrode in many different ways. They can, they can corrode via temperature. They can corrode when a little kid puts it in water. They can corrode when, uh, they can explode if it catches on, uh, heat something. So sometimes I heard of this recall um, where they had to replace the, when they went to replace the batteries in a certain toy, the whole thing started melting. Um, that is a recipe for battery explosion. If the batteries are kept in too long, then it, it could be a catching a fire episode. Uh, so batteries, you got to be careful and you shouldn't throw your batteries out like most people do. You dispose of your batteries in a the bin, a bag, a drawer, whatever you want to do. You, you, you keep them. The little batteries are also dangerous because you got to keep them away from children because they will, they're always putting stuff in their mouths, this and that. So I've heard on the news and that's why I don't buy my son battery operated things with watch batteries. Okay, so I got two Halloween decorations left. I'm going to undo this one because it's the same model. And I'm going to do the, the oldest one I have off camera. The easiest way to do it. I'll do one of these on camera for you so you can see how it's done. But there's a hole that I modified. So that yes, the battery thing will stay in, but you just take something and you stick it in and you, you twist, you kind of twist. And then there's two batteries in there. I took the batteries off camera, so I'll just 
do this the skulls on camera. I'll do the full process on camera about how I restored this, like, like, because I wanted the covers to stay in, but I didn't want hard access to the cover. Um. Okay, so the ghosts, um, okay, so that's all for battery corrosion. So now I'm going to uh, take the batteries out of this, these skulls, and I'll show you what I did with this one. This one, I didn't have to use a hole. This one, I just carefully pried. And I'll do that off camera because I don't want to end up hurting myself because of that. And now I don't need this anymore. So I can put this away. Now, you see, this has two triple A's. And they're going to come out. It's the same thing. These were the batteries. Again, they're E-circuits. But back when I was young, they had Sunbeam. Now they're having these E-Circuit batteries in Dollar Tree. Um, no corrosion here. Now there will be batteries in some of these things. Um, I just, I'm going to fix it on Saturday. My mom's going to do a video. I'm fixing it on Saturday. My adopted mom. subscribe that's all my uh, animatronics um i've done videos on my old channel how to clean corrosion on previous things i've had subscribe have a nice day